Hello and welcome to Beam NG Drive. I'm David NR, and today we're going to take a look at the preliminary and qualifying rounds for the T Series trucks. Oh, there you go. Nice jump there from the T65 short bed series. Uh, we're not going to go through all of the runs because there's a lot of them, <laughs> but I did want to showcase uh, each or I should say I want to showcase a run from each of the T-Series trucks and we'll kind of go through this through each of the vehicles in Beam NG as we are doing the Downhill Madness Coasting Championship. It makes it to the second checkpoint, rolls over, and yes, past the second checkpoint. That was phenomenal. What a run from the T-65 short. Now, the T-65 base vehicle, you notice, has a longer base to it. Um, this one actually isn't upfitted with a trailer hitch. That's kind of interesting. Uh, I'm just spawning them in as they come, folks. Oh, oh yeah. Nice little move there over that first waterfall, which is the first checkpoint. And just to remind you, oh, off the wall, slams into the other side. We've got some... T-Series pinball action going on, but just to remind you that uh, vehicles will be scored based on the distance that they travel and also uh, how many checkpoints they get past. So he's already made it past the first checkpoint. This bit here is the second checkpoint, which yes, he does get past up there ahead in the distance. Uh, we saw the uh, third checkpoint, but he didn't make it there. The fifth wheel up fit short bed Good heavens, that's a mouthful. <laughs> but we watch this vehicle cruise down the hill. And we are going to jump over that first, yeah, not bad at all, over the first checkpoint. Now, just as a reminder, every vehicle starts with the rear ah, end of the vehicle uh, behind, or starting between two of the traffic cone posts back at the top of the hill. The engine is turned off. The gearing is put into realistic mode. Oh, that is going to hurt. And he is going to slide up to the second checkpoint, but not enough. And now we have the fifth wheel regular upfit, or I think they call this maybe the base upfit. Can't remember now. Um, but anyhow, it is leaning a little to the right and oh, slamming into that first checkpoint not making it past and that is why this is a checkpoint not everyone gets by oh what a mess we're here at the t75 base series as i was saying before though uh, vehicles are put in realistic mode oh, oh, oh cuts off the shaves off the side there however it is continuing so they will start in realistic mode the vehicle's engines will be turned off, then uh, the distance meter will be reset, and a little rub there, and then they, uh, the parking brake is released, and they coast down the hill with no interference from me whatsoever. I'm not steering, not driving, I'm not doing anything. We're letting gravity and BeamNG physics take control as we watch the T-75 base roll to a stop. We're going to see a lot of that, that is for sure. Now, here we have the fifth wheel upfit, and it takes the same route as the previous truck, shaving off the right-hand side of the vehicle there. But it, look at that, just threads the needle, <laughs> throwing a wheel over the wall. We don't need that. It's just spare. Sure, why not? Rubbing up against the right side, that's usually a good time. There it is. That's a good way to get past that second checkpoint. And then uh, hitting that little whoops curve off to the side there, rolling, tumbling, gets to the third checkpoint. Will it make it over the third checkpoint? And we're going to pause it here, take a look. Not quite. You can see up above on the right-hand side, not quite past the third checkpoint. So close. And at the same time, uh, the vehicle has left the track. So in this case, it would be marked at the 1.2 mile distance meter. So there's a whole lot going on for vehicles to be able to qualify. Man, that is fantastic. Woo. 
<laughs> I love this. All right, here are the T65 flatbed barreling, barreling, I should say, down the road here, down the hill. Oh, that little jut smacks it. However, the advantage that the flatbed has is that it can actually, and is, using that back end to sort of keep itself steady by, uh-oh, <laughs> we're going over the second checkpoint. Oh, slams, however, makes it past the second checkpoint. However, look at that frame. It is all bent out of shape, and that is the end of the run for the T65 flatbed. Now, in this particular uh, showcase here, uh, we're not going to, I'm not going to disclose which vehicles ends up uh, qualifying and and how they qualify mainly because I'm showing this before I've even run all the other vehicles uh, but I do want to kind of give you a sneak peek at what we're going to see here in this competition and I will do this for each of the types of vehicles that come with BeamNG so you can watch this action before we get to the actual championship there it is rolling past the second checkpoint we've got several of the t-series that have been able to skirt past the second checkpoint however the fact that it has zero front wheels has definitely come into play here as it comes to rest at the 1.2 mile marker up next we've got the t65 car hauler and maybe I should have put a car on the back of it just for fun. Maybe, maybe we need to do that. We do an exhibition where we do crazy stuff with the trucks. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, ah, rubbing the edges, bouncing around. Look at the front end crumpled up there on the uh, driver's side. Oh, this is not going to be good. That curve right there, sending the truck flying into that wall. It is going to attempt to get past the second checkpoint. Unfortunately, all of the momentum sucked out of it, and it is just coming to rest there on fire here at the bottom of the hill. Well, not quite even the bottom of the hill, but in the middle of checkpoint two. Up next, T-75 long haul version. Oh, that was nice. You see that? The back end happened to kick up, which gave that a beautiful, smooth jump. Now, this is probably not going to be too smooth. Ah, well, we lost a wheel. Well, we lost both wheels and a wheel in the back and a pair of wheels in the back. This vehicle is just tossing the wheels everywhere, skirting down toward the second. Oh, 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 look at that using the jump as a way to start to rock back and forth keeping the momentum to get past that second checkpoint not a bad run at all now the dump truck hauling down whoop, rubbing the right side i've noticed a lot of the t-series i don't know why that is that is so weird but they are tending to lean to the right look at that threading the needle that is a beautiful play from the dump truck able to navigate the direct line through there without hitting either side now this could be tough no look at that a beautiful jump over checkpoint number two. Oh, a barrel roll over checkpoint number three he is just showboating at this point unfortunately on his side not gonna be able to get further down to the finish line however what an amazing run from the dump truck wow that was incredible by far and away one of the best runs we have seen here from the t-series in the downhill madness coasting championship qualifying rounds oh the t-75 long hauler goes up on one side oh there we go it is completely on its side can it right itself yes it does oh but then immediately falls back over and is bouncing and rolling down the hill this is not going to be good i mean it's still getting some distance but uh finally coming to rest just after one checkpoint that did not go well at all but certainly one of the most just gruesome crashes that we have seen here today in t-series action up next the cement mixer you see has already gone past the uh First checkpoint off Oop, the little jut there. Oh, slamming itself back and forth among the walls. A lot of pinball action here in the T-Series run. 
what's going to happen. At checkpoint number two, very well played, taking a cue from the earlier T-Series, using that ramp to put itself on two wheels to skirt by the second checkpoint. Can it right itself? Yes, it does. However, there's not enough momentum to get going, and it stops. The Patriot Special immediately hitting the right wall, and actually that works to its advantage because it, it by uh, skirting over to the right side, ooh, it helped push it away from the wall during that first checkpoint. However, as we see here, uh, that was like the best move it made, and then after that, it's just not a good day at work. This is not... <laughs> this is not good at all. We're not going to get anywhere near the second checkpoint, and there's very little left of the Patriot Special. Ah, the Ram Plow. So the question is, will the plow be a help or a hindrance? Oh, I'll tell you what, because the plow sticks out a little bit, it's actually helping nudge the vehicle left and right Ooh, for some navigation. However, that probably isn't going to help. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to ride the wall a little bit on the side. Now we're rolling, tumbling. Uh, that's never a good sign for a T-Series. Once these vehicles start rolling, that they pretty much lose all their momentum. And that is it into the wall for the Ram plow. And finally, we've got the Destroyer and it has already hit the right wall. It's now tapped the left wall. Can it navigate through? Uh, very close, very close, not bad. Oh, except that front end, look at that front. It is bent up. Can, if he can get his wheels straightened, I think he might be able to do a decent job here. Unfortunately, uh, that's going to slow him down, but makes it past the second checkpoint. You can't complain when a vehicle makes it Oh, past the second checkpoint. That little rock sticking out forces it away from the wall, but it's definitely got a lean to the right, and off it goes into the distance over the cliff. And that is the end of the run for the Destroyer. So there you go. That is a look at some preliminary qualifying action here for the David and Ark Beam NG Drive Downhill Madness Coasting Championship. Yes, it's like the longest name ever. I've got to come up with an acronym. Somebody come up with an acronym. Like the No Engine Downhill Madness something. The Nedmo. I don't know. Nedmar. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Got any questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories? Feel free to leave those down in the comments section below. Special thanks to Hero of God, Gamer Gall, and Los Wilco for supporting me on Patreon. You can check that out. Patreon.com slash David in Arc. As always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. We'll see you next time on Beam NG Drive. Have a great day.